All right, we ready for this? We do. Well, let me make sure. Hey, this hot? see this side looks yeah. like I'm greasy though. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lucy, if you ain't know. And this is. Everybody who knows, back in effect. Yes, if you didn't see our vlog, please go and watch it. So today for you, we have a QA with some questions I got from Instagram. And we about to get started. Okay. First question What's the funniest thing you've seen as a basketball player? The funniest thing I've seen as a basketball player. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's funny, but we was when I was playing overseas in Istanbul, we had a, a rivalry game. One of our players got hit with a, uh, a Apple charger. <laughs> you see what I mean? An Apple charger. It's just the differences of games here and there. So you can hit people in Istanbul. Yeah, the crowd don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Ooh. It's okay. serious, but it's funny too. What's your favorite city to play? Out here? Um, yeah, wherever. No, the garden is always special. Oklahoma is uh, from there, so yes, he's from Oklahoma. Show out there. It's in the Staples. Staples Center in LA. Yes, I got to meet Eddie Murphy this past year. That was that was big. Ooh. I was too geek though. How did you go from Baylor to NBA to not really playing much anymore? That is a tough question. Um, oh, you gave him a tough question. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's gonna be so real. From Baylor, I had to sit out a year before I got to play, so I really worked on my game, got to play, and when I got to the NBA, um, I would say I got content. And overseas, I had, had a really good year. Last year, didn't play as much, so this year, you know, hope, hope to go all in. Go all in. How does your family handle this NBA lifestyle with all the traveling? And how do you find time for your family? Oh, you know, my family don't care. Like, they, shoot, my little sister wanted to get I had to try to shield them away from the life. Oh, so you, your sisters wanted to get an MBA too? No, no, just the lifestyle. Uh, you. you know, they spent my money on the <laughs> You know, that nightlife that when I was younger in the NBA, it was, it was a bit much for me. So, yeah, I mellowed out, so I'm cool. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah. What are the most important characteristic traits to have a successful career in the NBA today? Uh, to always work, keep working. You always have to be able to adapt and just keep working. Stay humble. Stay humble and keep working. How is the culture different in Utah? Ooh, it's different. It's, it's very different, but it, it's cool. Like I said, I'm older, so it, it works for me. No distractions. I mean, I'm uh, reading. The really good food out there. The people, can, the people are nice. All right. Okay. Okay. You like New York better? The people in, in Utah. Really nice. And then, really nice. Two minutes. Two minutes. maintain a healthy diet while traveling? Oh, it, I mean, that's easy, because it's food everywhere. It's accessible, close to us. Uh, you know, what do you eat? You gotta want to eat healthy. What do I eat? Um, Salad. I don't eat red meat. No red meat. Um, so that's, that's only what I eat. A lot of things. Gotta have my veggies, get my food in. Salad. I, I don't eat, you know, get my nutrients, right? You feel me? So what are your plans after the NBA and what are you doing to make sure that you're financially stable in your life? Saving my money. Saving his money. Okay, um, yes, and um, <laughs> investing as well. Um, investing. Real estate, other type of business. I'm in the agricultural business now. Um, always in the community. Uh, I'm bringing, bringing whoever with me. Whoever want to come, learn. Better themselves, but it's gonna be with you. Okay, so who inspired you to play basketball? Growing up, uh, I mean, it was a neighborhood sport for us. And then, you know, about being Nigerian, you would see a Kim Elijah on the screen growing up, so that would always push me forward. Being able to play for Utah, you had the chance to see Donovan Mitchell more than fans yes. and opposing teams. Do you truly believe he should win Rookie of the Year award over Ben Simmons? Also, how did it feel to make the playoffs and beat a team that a lot of people had you guys losing to? Well, number one, it don't matter to me about the Rookie of the Year. You know, at the end of the, at the end of his career, we'll see where they stand. Mm -hmm. Donovan's a great, a great kid, a great guy. You know, we're, we're real cool. 
And he's one of those guys, like I said, you know, keep working and be able to listen with where you are. He did that throughout the year. It was he's special. We all seen that playoff beating the Thunder. That was that was good. Uh, yeah. That series, like he used to look up for him. So now you gotta you gotta go at him. And he's you know he's probably the reason why we made it to the second round. You know we probably we probably would have been able to play longer, but you know, injury took over. Being a young African American kid, a lot of us had dreams of one day being in the NBA because of how fun it looked and the money. Being that he made it, what stood out to him or what was the most surprising when he got through the door? The work you had to do. Being, you know, even if you have dreams, you gotta go after it. You can't just sit at home, at home, at home and pray and think God is gonna deliver that thing. You gotta put in the work. You gotta put in the work. You gotta really you know, handle your business. And then as well, you know, in school, you gotta handle your business so you can continue to, to go up each grade, uh, each level. Do you see yourself doing anything besides basketball? Right now, no. This is my love. God has been blessed me with this game, and uh, this is my blessing. It's allowed me to bless others. So I'm ready for you. Blessing. Give us one second, please. If you weren't in the NBA, what would you be doing right now? In the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing else. Nothing else, that, that was my dream. I was able to achieve my dream, and afterwards we'll figure out what's next. Okay. What's your favorite color? Favorite color? Blue, black. Especially black, black looks good on. Alright. Oh, no. okay. So, how did your parents feel about you becoming a basketball player? True, my parents are Nigerian, academics, academics, academics. So, they didn't really come to a lot of the games, especially you when know, we had my hardships. Uh, but once I made it, you know, they were happy. They were, you know, watching me on TV like they do other players or in the league. Uh, so, parents be like that. I was big, though. You know, now they're excited, you know, retired my parents for the most part, so they good. Oh. That's so nice. <laughs> Alright, last question. <laughs> push it to your Drake. In this battle, push it to you. I mean, Drake is a monster of an artist, but you just, some people you can't go at. Okay, okay. Um, who's your favorite artist? Favorite artist of all time is uh, Jay Z. Oh, I was But you know, I'm just, I oh. listen to Mozzie. I love Mozzie. He's really good. I'm from uh, the Bay. Harry, Nipsey Hussle from LA, he, he really doing it right now. J. Cole. Uh, you hear the album? Which one? J. Cole? Yeah, he, was, he dropped a lot of bars for us. I do appreciate that. Thank um, you, J. Cole. Also, Lil Baby and Gunna, those two young boys are coming in. So I, I kind of appreciate their music. Alright, alright. Well, guys, that was our QA. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell to get notifications. Oh, and you know, I don't know when we're gonna see each other next time, but some type of festival. Yes. She says she has a costume for y'all, and it's going down. Ooh. Stay Ooh. tuned. Subscribe wherever it may be. <laughs> and I have a great night. Thank you. All right. Peace.